Hello. Good evening, Carla. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. What about you? I'm tired, teacher. Ah, yes, you work today, right? Yes, yes. A lot of work. A lot of work, I can yes. imagine. Because, of, well, we're dealing with a very difficult situation, but we need to to stay positive, right? Yes, uh, in Sonsonate, well, in Sonsonate, there are three centers of contention. Tres centros de contención, esto es donde llevan a la gente que no hace caso o a la gente que es sospechosa de... A la gente que ha venido de otro país. Oye, que sigue entrando gente de otro país. No, los trasladaron de vía olímpica. Ya no cabían ahí, entonces los trasladaron a dos hoteles más acá en San, en San Sonate. Así que estábamos llenos, llenos, llenos. Son tres hoteles los que tenemos llenos de gente. O sea, es que le toca ver más gentes, más pacientes. Sí. O sea, ahora hemos visto quizás un poco más de 150 personas. Wow. Hay que cuidarse. Sí. Está crítico. Sí, ya murió otro, ¿verdad? Sí, este día. Y ese es propio de aquí del país. No venía de otro país. Y tuvo contacto con alguien que tenía. Están ahorita viendo el nexo epidemiológico que tenía esa persona, pero hasta ahorita no lo han encontrado. Es de San Francisco Gotera. Pues porque de la nada no se agarra, ¿verdad? Así en el aire. Ah, así es. Puede ser que haya sido alguien que entró por un punto ciego y no saben. Pero que sí, el señor no tiene ahorita ningún antecedente de que haya salido del país ni que haya entrado. Wow, qué difícil. Sí, está difícil. Bueno, ok. Nos queda nada más cuidarnos, tratar de seguir adelante, eh, ver qué cosas se hacen. Eh, es difícil continuar con el ánimo, ¿verdad? Porque no da para mucho. <risa> Sí, cada vez es, es más complicada la situación. Sí, pero bueno, hay que seguir. Veamos quiénes vinieron. Ya creo que ya casi todos. Karen, se ve cansada. A heavy day at work. And what about you, Felipe? A heavy day at work, Karen. Tired, al, al work, al lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. Many reports. Oh, many reports about patients. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. wow. I imagine. What about you, Felipe? Did you work today? Yes, teacher, I work. How um, was your day? Uh, I am very tired. I have many patients. Yes. Many patients too. Yes. But different illnesses or the flu or something similar like this COVID. <laughs> I have a, a patient with suspicion of coronavirus today. Oh wow! So you need to be very very careful. So call so reportarlo. Con el, con, con el Ministerio de Salud. Háganlo luego. Sí, en el mismo momento. Baño químico. Sí, sí qué triste. Menos, pero... menos mal andaba toda la protección. Sí, sí, hay que, hay que cuidarse. Ustedes que especialmente que se exponen directamente a eso. Sí, es bien complicado. Sí, bueno. And you, Freeland? Did you work today, Freeland? Your microphone is off. 
Microphone is off. El micrófono está apagado, Froilan. Así no se escucha. No, así no. <laughs> But now we can hear you. Teacher, ¿qué me preguntó, teacher? <laughs> did you, did you work today? Ah, uh, no, teacher, I, I don't work today. I didn't hey, work I, today. I, I, I didn't work today. I work uh, yesterday. Uh, next next week. <laughs> oh, next la week. La próxima semana voy a trabajar. Ah, okay. That. Hasta la that's próxima good. semana. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Hasta, hasta la próxima semana, teacher. Until next week. Oh, until. Until. Uh -huh. until. Se los voy a escribir until. por acá. Hasta. Uh -huh. Until, like this, until, right? Until next. Until week. next week. And this is future. I'm okay. going to work <coughs> until next week. Es que yo trabajo en los barcos tanqueros, teacher. Y es eh, fuel discharge, descarga de combustible. Ah, de barcos. Sí, cargueros. Oh, that's entonces, interesting. Entonces, eh, como los tanques están llenos, hasta la otra semana viene un, un tanquero. Y se llena y volvemos a descansar, así es como estamos. Ah, but it's interesting job because it's not very common. <laughs> Esta semana no, tra no trabajo hasta la otra. Para oh, that's nice. Nice. <laughs> Uh, uh, this week is nice. The other week, uh, next week. Heavy. Oh. Heavy. <laughs> next week is going to be a heavy week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about you, Patricia? How are you today? Very well. Did Peter. you work? My house. Ah, you work from home. Yes, I ah. remember. It's kind of different, right? To work from home. Hola. Yes, we can hear you. You work at home. You're working from home. Um, yes, I work. Uh, I work in my house. Um, hasta la próxima semana. <laughs> Until next week, and then you return to the office. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, okay. Well, nice. And you, Danny? How are you today? Um, the same. Only sleeping. Yes. Only sleeping. <laughs> Okay. With, with a bear. Really? Like with a teddy a bear. bear? Ah, like, like a bear. A bear. <laughs> like a bear. Okay. That's nice. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It is. What about you? How are you doing? Uh, very good. Uh, working in half. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, teacher. Uh, the cocinera cooking. The, uh, you are the, 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 you are in charge of the house. De todo lo de siempre, todo lo que más encerrado. <laughs> yes, pero hay que hacer que valga la pena el encierro para que esto ya no dure tanto. Ay, sí. Sí, porque ya ya si sí, tal vez si eso no se descontrola nos manden ya luego para afuera <laughs> y a los niños también. <laughs> Pero si extienden no, eso porque la gente no hace caso, porque la enfermedad se descontrola, quizás esta va a ser solo la primera cuarentena y habrán más a futuro. No queremos lo que decir. pasa, lo que pasa es que esta semana, este, esta semana que viene es como la de la decisoria, la de la que va a definir realmente cómo se va a desarrollar 
del coronavirus aquí ya, con toda la contaminación que ha habido por sí, la, exposición, me... la exposición de la gente y las pocas pruebas que se hacen. Entonces eso hace que todavía no tengamos claridad en cómo, cómo va a repuntar todo. Ojalá que no, ¿verdad? Pero... Sí, Dios quiera que no. Yo espero que no, porque esto sí afecta mucho emocionalmente. Es feo no abrazar a los hijos por temor a... Y que los niños se acostumbren a no recibir así un abrazo porque hay temores. Feo. Sí. But ok. Uh, sí. Did you do... Ya casi todos están. Ok. Did you do the homework? Uy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. A volunteer to start yes, sharing the yes. homework? Nice. Dice, yo, yo no estuve ayer, pero yo hice una a partir de un, de un mensaje en el WhatsApp. Entonces, okay. no sé. ¿Quiere lo leo? Ok, claro. No, no sé si ok, teacher, thank you. My family and I were all born in El Salvador. I was born in the city of Huachapán. And my two sister was born in my two sister Where? were born were born Sonsonate in Sonsonate. In Sonsonate, huh? In Sonsonate. My pa my father was born in Huachapán. City two. My mother was born in Isalco City. My father was a dog, dog, bus. Así lo encontré, teacher, que era jefe de muelle. Ah, okay. Dog, bus. In my mother was a engineer. Ok, but you did a great job, excellent. Y este que no estuvo en clase, imagínense. <laughs> great, fantastic. Another volunteer? Ay, Ay, yo, Patricia. Ok, Patricia. My name. My name is Patricia Morales. I was born in Santa Ana, but I live in San Salvador. My parents are from Guatemala, but have lived in El Salvador. Eh, since 1980, no sé cómo se dice. Vaya, no, con los años, para no decir así el número, 1980 dice. 1980 se diría one... 1980, pero para no complicarse, lo más común es dividirlo en dos cifras, 19 y 80. Entonces decimos 1980. In 1980. 1980. Yes. My brother live in Guatemala. Eso hice. Ok, that's good. Excellent. Good job. Um, Iris? Uh, igual yo no estuve en clase, pero hice algo. That's um, important. I was born in the department of Cuscatlán, Cojutepec, but I live in Soyapango. All, all my family is Cojutepequeña. My parents were born in Cojutepec. My father was security. De, de, Air Force and my mom is still work taking care of people. Okay, excellent job, it is wow, <laughs> excellent. Brian, my name is Roiland Ulisse Ruiz. My family and I were all born in El Salvador. I was born in the, I was born in the port of Acajutla. 
and my siblings were born here too. My parents were born in the port of Acajutla. They were born in other cities. My father was born in Tecoluca, San Vicente, and my mother was born in Armenia, Sonsonate. My father was a businessman, and my mother was a psychologist. Excellent job. Wow. Nice. Very nice. Next, Felipe. My family and I were all born in El Salvador. We weren't born in Guatemala. I was born in the city of Santa Ana, and my sister was born there too. And my parents weren't born in Santa Ana. Uh, my father was born in the city of Sonsonate, and my mother was born in the city of Metapan. My father was a doctor, and my mother was a nurse. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> nice job. Perfect. Uh, Karen? Um, my family lives in San Salvador, but my father was born in Cuscatlán, in and Cuscatlán. my mother was born in Aguachapan. In <laughs> yes. Aguachapan, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, my mother is a lawyer, and my father is a merchant. Merchant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. Mujer de pocas palabras. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Very good. Uh, next is missing Liliana. No está por ahí. Okay, let's see. ¿Quién falta? Dani. Dani. Estoy terminándolo. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> es que no me había dado cuenta. Y hasta ahorita lo estoy haciendo. Ok. ¿Víctor? ¿Víctor? Hi, teacher. Hello. Did you have your homework? <laughs> ok. Um, my, my name is Víctor. Uh, my family and we are born in Apopa City. We were born in Santa Ana. I was born in the city of Sonsonate. And my sister was born there too. My parents were born in the Sonsonate city. They were born in the municipality of Sonsonate only. <laughs> okay, very nice, nice job. Así con tiempo relajado. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very nice. Um, now, who's next? Danny, finish? The virus, por lo tanto. Yo. Yes. <laughs> finish. I feel so. Okay, read your paragraph. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. My name is Danny Sandoval. I was born in 1991, and I have two brothers and one sister. My sister is the first, but she was born on 1983. In second and third place, my other brothers. They were born in 1986 and 1990. They was born or they were born? They were born. Okay. On 1986 and 1989. Okay. Yeah, okay, but you did a good job. Good job. Thank you so much. Uh, ¿Quién falta? Sí, le salió bien para hacer así algo, <laughs> algo en la carrera. Uh, Abigail. Uh, 
¿Quién más falta? Yo. Ok, Liliana. Ok, my name is Liliana Reyes. My family and I were all born in El Salvador. I was born in the city of Concepcion Bate, Zulután. My brother was born in the city of San Miguel, and my parents were born in the city of Zulután. My mother was a teacher and my father was a lawyer. Okay, excellent job, nice composition. So I did think you did a very nice job. So uh, next, we're going to share the negative contractions. Um, I, give me one second. Okay, I'm here again. Ya empezó a llover por acá y tenía la ventana abierta. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to continue with um, pronunciation, negative contractions, okay? Let's share the video here. I don't know if you have checked this. We're going to share. Sure, I'll do. Can you listen? No, teacher. No. All right, let me let me see what's going on here. Negative contractions. Hidden. Can you listen now? No. Oh. That is weird. Pero sí pueden ver lo que está en la pantalla. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Esto es de la plataforma. No sé qué es lo que está fallando acá. Ah, ok. For example. Esto es. I. Ahora sí. Um, sí. Ok. Yes. Ok. Class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They Swearing. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay, as you see in this, uh, one tip, un tip que se les da para sonar un poco más natural es extender la <coughs> N cuando estemos pronunciando las uh, contracciones o las formas cortas en inglés. Ok, lo que se vio acá en la plataforma es esta parte de acá, negative contractions, 
contracciones negativas en inglés. Vamos a escuchar y a tratar de repetir lo más parecido que podamos. Les voy a poner el audio y hay que tratar de repetir lo más parecido. Le voy a dar un poquito acá para que se vea más. Ok. Creo que le puedo dar un poquito más. Ahí Ok. Esto es lo que vamos a practicar. Ok. I'm going to play the audio so you can repeat. Um, acá dice esta son, so el sonido es una sola sílaba. Arm. Don't. Can. Weren. En two Warn. sílabos es como isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Se escuchan dos sonidos, por eso se dice que son dos sílabas. En cambio aquí es como un solo sonido. Arm. Don't. Weren, can't. Ok, so can't. vamos a tratar de repetir después de escuchar acá. Page 102, exercise 4, pronunciation. Negative contractions. Part A, listen and practice. One syllable. Aren't. 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 Weren't. 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 Don't. 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 Can't. 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 Two syllables. Isn't. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wasn't. 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 Doesn't. 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 Didn't. 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 Okay, let's repeat Didn't. one more time. Page 102, exercise 4, pronunciation. Negative contractions. Part A. Listen and practice. <laughs> One syllable. Aren't. 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 Weren't. Weren't. Yeah. Weren't. Weren't. Don't. 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 Can't. 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 No. Two syllables. Isn't. 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 Wasn't. 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 Doesn't. 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 Didn't. 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 Okay. Now let's try to listen and repeat these uh, sentences that we have here using contractions. Page 102, exercise 4, part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Okay, we're going to try to repeat. Okay. Page 102, exercise four, part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. Okay, let's try to repeat. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. He didn't eat dinner, he didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. He didn't eat dinner because he was hungry. I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. 
I don't like coffee don't and like she doesn't coffee. like This tea. isn't my swim. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. She doesn't like tea. She doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. This is swimsuit. I can't swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday and they aren't here today. They weren't here yesterday. They were here yesterday and they aren't here today. They weren't here yesterday and they aren't here today. They were here yesterday and they aren't here today. Aren't. 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 Okay. All right. Um, then you have the conversation. Nice. Oh, wow. Do you remember yesterday's conversation? <laughs> it seems like uh, the haircut was not what you wanted. Uh -huh. Yesterday we practiced this. Remember, some days ago we practiced this. Yes. They were in the hair salon. <laughs> so they continue. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. So let's listen. Uh, the topic of the conversation is, I grew up in Texas. Let us listen. Page 102, exercise 5, conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, not really convinced, right? <laughs> did you, do you have any question about vocabulary? Yes. Which is the ma major? Es major. major major es la especialidad. ¿En qué se especializó? Oh. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces ahí dice que se especializó en drama. Luego le pregunté que por qué entonces se convirtió o se volvió un estilista. estilista. Y le dijo que porque necesitaba. I need the money. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other question? No sé si están cayendo granizos por ahí, pero voy a oí bastante ruido. Okay, aquí está lloviendo un poquito fuerte. Ay, ¿dónde me escuché? Ay, ¿dónde escuché? Okay, um, so la pregunta era major, major es la especialidad. Major es en qué se especializa. No importa que sea medicina o cualquier otra cosa. Uh, ma, major, yes, major in medicine, 
ah. major in, in the, en este caso su especialidad era drama porque era ser un actor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. A major in history, una especialidad en historia. Major in history. Is there any other question? No. Oh, okay, so la vamos a escuchar otra vez y le voy a ir poniendo pausas para que ustedes puedan repetir. Voy a pedirles que repitan en casa. Eh, si tienen alguna pregunta, pueden habilitar su micrófono. Uh, hay mucho ruido al fondo, eh, pero ustedes pueden repetir en casa y cualquier cosa, ustedes pueden habilitar su micrófono. Eh, me imagino que la familia está viendo noticias y cosas así, pero <ríe> cuando quieran participar, ustedes pueden habilitar el micrófono. Ok, so let's repeat. Page 102, exercise 5. Conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Were you born there? Yeah. I was born in Dallas. Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. In 2000. How old were you then? How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Really? Why did you because become I a needed, hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Because I needed the money. And I, and I love, love it. it. So, what do you think? So, what do you think? Well, uh... Well, <laughs> uh, it's not convincing. Okay, uh, do we have volunteers to practice the conversation? Volunteers? Teacher, ¿por qué se queda ella así en suspensivo? <risa> eh, es que no creo por la expresión, no creo que le haya gustado el corte de cabello y parece que el chico es especialista en drama y no en cabello y corta cabello porque quizás gana mejor de estilista que de... <risa> eh, porque él, él, él le dice, uh, so what do you think? Y creo que le muestra el corte y le pregunta, ¿qué piensas? <risa> de cómo, ¿qué te parece? <risa> Sí, okay. como <risa> puro sacate. De... Uh, sí, porque cabello. Es, es una continuación de la conversación que vimos aquí hace como unos dos días, creo. Eh, me imagino que no esperaba un corte tan, un cambio tan drástico en su cabello. Entonces, eh, por eso sigue. Uh, ok. Um, volunteers to practice? Volunteers? Yes. Yes. Elisa. Okay, aquí tengo a Carla y a Liliana. Uh, Car Liliana. Okay. Carla y Liliana. Okay, empezamos con Carla y Liliana. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? Carla? Liliana. Chircón. Uh, Carla tiene oh. el micrófono apagado. Ok. Repeat. <laughs> so, shock. Where did you grow up? I grew up. I grew up. I grew up. 
I grew up. Grew up. I grew up in Texas. Mm -hmm. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 20... 20... In 2000. Oh, in 2000. Gracias. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstyle? Because I need the money and I love it. So what do you think? Well, um... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You okay. <laughs> Very nice. Nice job. Another two volunteers? Danny? Yes, Another two yeah. volunteers? Okay, Danny and... Janira. Janira. Okay, Danny and Janira. Janira, you can start. Yes. Sancho, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Where did you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And where did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How, how old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? What did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, perfect. Well done. Excellent job. You're doing nice job. Nice. Another two volunteers. Vamos a escuchar dos más y continuamos. Patricia. Ok, Patricia and... Maya. Yo loco. Ok. ¿Cómo la abren? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Patricia and Felipe. Comienzo, Felipe. So, Chuck, sure. where did you grow up? A la vez me la puse. Pero te lo hubieras grew, comido ahí abajo y hoy acabó esa. I grew up in Texas. In Texas. Where you born here? There. Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Really? did you become a high school student? Because I needed the money and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, Ooh. <laughs> okay, very good. Good job. I don't hear Mrs. Hairstylist. 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 Okay, um, let's see. There are some questions here that are really interesting to practice. Hmm. For example, we can um, practice. La negra no me la vas a meter. Here. Sí. Gracias. We can practice with this exercise. We're going to yes. take a look here and try to match the questions with the answers. So you can do it in your notebook. You write the number and the letter that matches. The number in question one is where were you born? ¿Qué dijimos que significa esa pregunta? 
Where were you born? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde naciste? ¿En dónde naciste? So, la respuesta es letter E. In Hiroshima, Japan. Japan. Okay. Number two. Where did you grow up? ¿Dónde Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? You grow up? ¿Dónde I grew up in Tokyo. What letter? I grew up in Tokyo. D. D. Letter D. Yes, letter D. I grew up in Tokyo. Uh, number three, how was your first day of a school? It no, was a little classes. scary. Uh huh, letter F. It was a little scary. Uh -huh. It was a little scary. And number four? Who was your friend in the school? Let it be. Larry A. A. She was really pretty. A. 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 was the king. Is the A is the first? Uh huh. Her a. name. Who her was name your best friend? Was letter Yumiko. A. Uh huh. Letter A. Her name was Yumiko. Uh, five. What was she? In este caso, creo que sería. Bueno, es que los nombres esos chinos no se sabe si son de. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, what was Solo la, ne la camisa negra, ¿no? She like ¿Qué ¿Qué pantalón traía? En esta pregunta, ah, what was she like? Be. She was really la camisa cool. negra en la boca, es? ¿no? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Ajá. ¿Cómo era? She was really friendly. She was really, she was she was really friendly. Ajá. Why did oh. you take this ah, class? Sí. She I was, was uh, ella. Yeah. I want to improve my English. I wanted to improve my English. está llenando de galleta. Okay, questions? Tenemos galleta. <laughs> Teacher, Questions? Yes. It's she. You mean who is she? Yes. <laughs> ya descubrimos que es ella. <laughs> improve. Improve. ¿Qué es improve? Mejorar. Mejorar. Okay. Uh -huh. Porque quería mejorar uh, mi inglés. Uh -huh, because I wanted to your help. improve. Uh -huh. Why are you dancing in, at home? Why are you dancing in your bedroom? Ah, because I want to improve my health. <laughs> uh -huh, improve is mejorar. Okay. So the next exercise is uh, for you to speak. Vamos a hacer un poco de speaking. Estas preguntas las vamos a tomar, pero vamos a responder con nuestra propia información. Um, vamos a hacer algo. Se las voy a mandar en fotito para el WhatsApp. Quizás le pueda mandar así. Ok. Tratando de contestar uh, con nuestra propia información. Por ejemplo, yo puedo preguntar a, a, a Felipe, where were you born? Where were you born? In Santa Ana City. Ok. Vamos a dar una respuesta completa. I was born. I was born. In Santa Ana City. In Santa Ana City. Ajá, uh -huh. I was born in Santa Ana City. Y luego le puedo preguntar, who was your first friend in school? Felipe, who was your first friend in school? Uh, his name was Victor. Ah, eh, ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí acuérdense de una cosa. Si es... Um, La pregunta es who ¿Quién? was uh -huh, your best friend at the school. 
quién fue tu mejor amigo en la escuela. Ajá, entonces, si es ella, ¿cuál es el su de ella? Her. Her. Her, Ajá. her name was um, Eva, right? Um, o oh, si es él, ¿cuál es el su de he, él? He, Ajá. He, 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 His name was his, Wally. <laughs> or William, whatever. His name was William. Huh? Her name, si es su de ella, su nombre era Eva, su nombre era William, solo vamos a diferenciar por género. Her para ella, his para él. Ok. Eh, ahora, ya tienen las preguntas ahí. Pueden, um, vamos a practicar en grupo, un solo grupo, para que no se nos vaya mucho el tiempo en estar armando sesiones. Vamos a hacerlo así. Ok, Felipe le puede preguntar a alguien o cualquiera de esas seis preguntas. Ahí escoja la víctima. Ahí tenemos a Karen, Froiland, <risa> Dani. ¿Qué hoy? <risa> ok, Felipe. Karen, Karen. Yeah. <risa> Number two, where did you grow up? Um, I, I grew up there. I grew up, uh, I grew up, I grew up in San Salvador. Okay, I grew up in San Salvador. Up. Good, Karen, continue. Grew up. Grew up. Um, <laughs> um, Liliana, how no. was your first day of school? Um, first day of school. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Okay, very nice. <laughs> Continue. Um, it is, who was your first friend in school? A quién? A Iris. Okay, Iris. Tiene silenciado el micrófono. ¿Quién fue tu primer amigo? ¿Quién fue tu primer amigo? Ah, eh, his, his name is Brenda. Eso es, ¿quién es tu primer amigo? Ajá, su mejor amigo, ¿quién fue en la escuela? His, his, sería, his name is His name, His name was Brenda. Was, was Brenda. Entonces name. es her name. Her name. Her, her name. name was her name Brenda. Was Brenda. Yes. Okay, good. Continue. Ask a question to another classmate. Uh, Karen. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What did you take to class? Mm. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Um, yo no conocía a Brenda, pero pues mi mejor amiga. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, she was, she was um, friendly, friendly, uh, no sé si es amigable, alegre, alegre. Cheerful, alegre es cheerful. Cheerful, cheerful. Cheerful. Mm -hmm. she, uh, yeah, she was cheerful. Cheerful. Uh, why did you take this class? Um, why? 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 Mm -hmm. Why did you take this class? I, mean, I want to improve my English. Okay, great. Ask another classmate. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. Hasta another classmate. Pregúntele a otro compañero. Oh. Eh, eh. Ay, no sé quién está. Liliana. 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 Tampoco está. Ok, so it is time to finish. Yeah. Igual es hora de terminar. Bueno, gracias. Um, hoy hubo más gente que ayer. <laughs> so, espero que mañana estén todos. Eh, igual eh, tienen que tener la plataforma completada. A, creo que a más tardar el 3, dijeron, que es viernes, mm -hmm. con una nota mínima de 8. Y acuérdense que pueden re repetir los ejercicios si no están conformes. Y cualquier pregunta pueden escribir al chat del grupo o al mío directamente para ayudarles si tienen alguna duda con los ejercicios o no están saliendo bien. Thank you, teacher. So igual, si, to... igual si alguien necesita ayuda y podemos apoyarles también. Sí, claro. Ahí hey. está el chat y el chat se mantiene activo. Uh -huh. El chat no lo cierran, solo que ustedes se salgan, se acaba. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, see you tomorrow. Take care and sleep well. Uh, Thank you. you Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye. Good night.